Hey guys, it's just C. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to the Same Brain Podcast. Roll that intro. We have an extra brain on the cast today. Yay! Hey, hey Maddie. Maddie. <laughs> rhymes with Peachy. What's up, everyone? I am so stoked to be here. Me too. You have a new little best friend. Yeah, I'm taking him with me. So oh. say goodbye. No. Bye, Maddie. Oh, my gosh. I oh, he's you, trying Maddie. to give you kisses. His mouth is a little stinky. You, he I just got you. a toothbrush. You are so cute. Yeah, we're going to brush your teeth later. <laughs> he's, <The re> <laughs> he's looking at you like, no, I don't want to. It's a peppermint dog paste. Uh, oh, had wow. great reviews. Wow. So. Oh, how's your kitty? So good. Judy's yeah. great. But yeah, doing good. How, how, how's everything been, guys? Any exciting tech or? Oh, my gosh. I too have, much. I'm telling you, the past few years have, oh, have gotten me just like so exhausted that I can't keep up with branded content and also embargo content. So I was like, I'm just going to take a little bit of a break. Smart. So it's been interesting. Well, that's the hard part, too, because it's like you want to do that. But then you also have branded projects where it's yes. actually sponsored and paid. And they're just like, hey, we're going to give you this and hope you review it. Exactly. Which is yes. Which I, I appreciate yeah, because it, it's obviously great for the channel and things like that. But yeah. man, I, sometimes I can't hit it I yeah. without literally like, almost dying. I, like, know. I haven't posted the Samsung uh, Galaxy S23 Ultra yet. I've been Same. using it. Same. But I'm like, I just am so yeah. overwhelmed. And then you feel guilt. Yes. So the guilt of posting late just killed me. You know, Apple stuff, I'll make the embargo, but almost like everything else, I'll be like, oh, it's two hours later than everyone else, but do you still want to watch my video? <laughs> so then I was like, okay, what if I just didn't? Well, it's so hard now because with like YouTube shorts and like trying to make content for every platform is absolutely exhausting. And see, I gave up on that too. There was a time where I was like, IG store, you know, I'm going to do all of the shorts, but I was like, you know what? Lo oh my gosh, Maddie! Oh, oh my like gosh, a little loaf! What a cutie! I feel like you have to choose. Yes, you know, unless I mean you're kind of killing it. I uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm still creating content, but it's it's so exhausting that like I'm kind of also sort of in that phase of just like I'm posting, but mm -hmm. it's not. I know I could be doing better. Yeah, but like there's a fine line between. Yeah, like, I'm I'm so physically exhausted. I think I, I posted like four or five videos in January, and I was like, that's really bad. But I felt Wait, busy. Bad? Because like some of these videos, I felt four it, or five bad for you. It felt very bad. But I, it's crazy because it's like I was doing so many other things, or it was like branded videos that took like weeks. Yeah. And then this month, February, when we're filming this, I've already posted ten videos. Wow. Which, so I'm like, wow. I mean, some of them aren't doing great, but like they were like, but I, you know. <laughs> They're still up there. <laughs> I remember, Tyler, it was like, I forget which iPhone it was. Whenever we went, we did that little road trip to, to Joshua Tree. We posted, it was like every single day. We posted like 28, 29 Whoa. videos like in a month. It was insane. That when was, was that? What year was that? Um, it was like a few iPhones ago. 2019? Wow. Because I also remember watching your channel when the pandemic hit. You, your stride was phenomenal i was avoiding a lot of things in my life yeah yeah we but can talk it about worked. that off camera yeah <laughs> but it worked though you know yeah like you know just get super depressed and like hate your life and then yeah. you just can put all that into making but videos. i love that towards videos i want the exact opposite and i just want hermit mode mm -hmm. you know That's just complete nice. hermit yeah and i'm more hermit mode yeah than with you and so, and I mean, I feel like that's been the past like three years. So that's why I'm excited. I mean, I haven't even told my parents yet that. Beep, beep, did beep. you just break the news? But on oh my God. Brain we don't even have a sponsor yet. <laughs> we can't even monetize it. <laughs> Jenna said she's not going to spill any secrets until, until we, we have get a sponsor. sponsor. <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing. Dude, that's so exciting. Uh, I remember yeah, the, that's why I'm excited. Yeah. When, what? Oh my that God. The juggling. Ago. I remember yes. the peach juggling. But I think that's when you like just met John. Like when did we I first? Really? <gasps> no, oh yeah, like the peach we, juggling was yes. not the first. You came to Joan's apartment. I did. Oh, oh my god! My gosh. We, and we filmed a video about the Apple Watch. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, hold on. I need oh, to wow. tell the story of my first impression of I Justine. It was oh, this should be good. It was okay. amazing. Okay, obviously I watched the I Justine <laughs> on the YouTube. You know, superstar, right? But you have such a larger than life personality on YouTube and you walked in and it was just you and you had your two Starbucks drinks. <laughs> I thought you were like, I, in my brain, you were like six foot towering super Justine. But I just, I remember the Starbucks drinks and I remember you being just like, 
like so much smaller than I thought that That's you were. Hilarious. <laughs> Did were they both your drinks? Yes. Yeah. What were they? Because I used to get a chai, an iced uh, chai, yeah. and I thought it was so cool. And then just like a black like coffee. Yeah. And I was like, that's the way that you roll. No, I think that's like a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a problem too. But I remember you, and also that that apartment that John had was so hilarious. It was just stark white. He had a white couch, a white coffee table, white walls, white everything. It was right over in Culver City. Um, and, you know, no pillows, nothing homey, no blanket. That was apartment a, was hilarious. But it was a cool aesthetic though. Yeah, like, it, was it, cool. it felt like concrete-y. I forget, because yeah, yeah. we filmed there. I believe. Yeah, yeah, and no, you're right. It was the Apple Watch because I also had the white Apple Watch, the um, yeah. ceramic Ceramics. Apple yes. Watch. Yeah. Um, oh my god, that was so fun. So that was even before the the peach and the cooking video. Because I did. think that was the second time you came back and we oh, did that. I don't think that was the yeah, same trip. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right because yeah. I literally did just meet John. Yeah. And I was already yeah. I mean, hopefully my mom's not watching this video, but yeah, I was already essentially living with John. <laughs> it was only like our second time hanging out. And I was, uh, yeah, hanging out in that Culver City apartment for like three weeks, three weeks at a time. I would go over, there, go over to LA, he would come to New York and we would just like hop coast and yeah. And, and now we'll be here and yeah. So and yeah. now you're married. You might want to tell your mom that you're married. moving before yeah. just in so case. So maybe yeah. you can beep that out. <laughs> <laughs> now we're married. We're going to have to call your mom after this. Yes, <laughs> yes. Hi mom. Uh, didn't Let's want you to see you. on the same brain podcast, exactly. but you probably would. Exactly. Well, I mean, where did you think you were staying? Okay, well, you don't have to talk about it. <laughs> now we're getting into some lies. We don't have a sponsor <laughs> yet. Save it for the next in, one. In the beginning, I just didn't explain. You know, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to LA to visit John. And in my brain, I was like, you know, I was like, oh, I'm getting a hotel, you know. But yeah, I was just shocking up with yeah. John, of course, you know. <laughs> um, but that's, that's financially yeah. more responsible, yeah. right? Yeah, hotels are very expensive that's, here. That's actually how I told John that I like liked him, liked him. We're getting into like high school gossip Woo! tea. It feels like. But he, so I met him first in LA. It was like two days. It was awesome. It was fun. I had to go back to New York. I was there for a conference or something. It was like 2016, 2017, and. He, he was like, he was so stoked. He was like, okay, uh, so we're talking on the phone call on the phone for the first time. He was like, let's hang out in Paris. And I was oh. like, I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, let's just like go to Paris and vlog. And I was like, no, I barely know you, but you can come to New York. So the next <laughs> month he, he came to New York and that's actually how I told him. Cause at the time, for some reason, Eric Conover was like, uh, sleeping in my apartment cause he had just <laughs> gone through a breakup and stuff. <laughs> so I already had a other dude in my own apartment but that's how I told him I, I was like you know I would totally let you stay in my apartment if I liked you as a friend so that's how oh. I like indirectly was like yeah you're not just a friend to me right so you have to get a hotel so we we kind of that was a long story but we kind of made it seem like we're staying in hotels and airbnbs we're taking it slow but the reality is we were like already like living with each other going coast to coast in how the beginning. funny because no, i met up with you guys also in new york it's yeah some point. i don't i feel like we've hung out more times than i thought I maybe like, uh to, new york in the like we went to the cat store a cat, cat store. no that wasn't a store it was a, a rescue or something Shelter? oh and best friends yes best friends yes Oh my god! Yeah, because you were yeah. We were complaining about daily vlogging. You're like, how yes. did you do it? I'm like, I don't know. I'm I'm losing my mind. Yes. I don't even know. And ironically, during that time is because daily vlogging was murdering my soul. Yes, as it does pretty much to everyone. Yeah, and I'm glad that I was hanging out with people like you and some other tech people <laughs> because oh. I think. Oh, hey, hey, come here. He also doesn't like daily vlogging. No. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, and I think that's when I decided, like, okay, I need to go back to. <laughs> some like camera unboxing, some tech stuff where I started because it was, it was so much Maddie. more sustainable too. Hey, come here. No barking. Come here. Maddie, he loves camera unboxings. Yes, he come does. Here, buddy. Come on, dude. Yeah, yeah it's okay. tough. And, and it's interesting now kind of like seeing the next generation of kind mm -hmm. of like vloggers and it's like, it's not sustainable. Mm -mm. And if, I mean, I would say do it as long as you can and yeah. then try to transition into something else. Uh, yeah, I mean, it literally was, it was like all vlogs, like sharing mm -hmm. my life <laughs> nonstop and then pandemic happened. And before that I was like, I'm gonna, this is the year of travel. And then it transitioned to tech, which career wise was the best yeah. um, choice. Um, and I still, I love it, but my audience, like anytime I post a vlog, it will do immediately better. Look, we That's love this. How often were you guys posting back then? You think like every day, every day, pretty, yeah. pretty yeah. often. Yeah. I would, I would do like every other day that lasted maybe like nine months That's and a then, long time. And then I was like, it's time to go back to 
tech. And right. ironically, like views, everything got so much better once I started focusing on, I would, I mean, quality, yes, but also just taking a beat to figure out title thumbnail that can go, you know, that, that can actually help. Yeah. Which is crazy. Cause I struggle. I know I, well, like I'll have everything completely done and then I'm like, Oh, I didn't make a thumbnail yet. And now my Screenshot? internet is so fast. Like mm. that would be my time to make the thumbnail. Like I have two gig up, two gig down, Ooh. which is in two, two. I haven't heard of that. Well, welcome. you know, welcome, welcome to, to Los Angeles. Wow. Two gig house. <laughs> it's so crazy. Like being able to share footage, which I'm really excited because I really want to kind of turn the podcast into the camera to cloud because it could be so instant. You still use the jellyfish or is it something that fancier? That is actually full. So, and H then how big was that? Oh my 30 God. 30 terabytes? No, it was way more than 80 that. 80 terabytes? Might've been like 96. 96 wow. terabytes, I think. Right is there. Linus listening function. somewhere? Hello, hello. I, He's yeah. actually upstairs. No. <laughs> yeah. He's, He's like, as someone said, uh, server? <laughs> he said, two gig up, two gig down. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, what Linus has created <laughs> is, is but, so yeah. impressive. Like the amount of employees and the amount of content that they're able to push out is just, yeah. it's awesome. It's sickening. Well, yeah. but what, see, here's, here's my problem. I, and so, this is also your problem is we love our freedom. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's why I switched completely to only using freelancers, too, because... I would go through rounds of, you know, having a couple full-time people. I like away for like a week and not talking to anyone, but you can't really do that when you have full-time people. So yeah, I recently also got rid of my only full-time person. Now I just have freelancers helping and it's like, you have to be okay with not doing everything and that's okay. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's no time for it. And even yeah. like, cause I've just started all these random hobbies. Like now I'm into snowboarding. Okay. So where did you go? Went to Mammoth. That winding road to like get up to Big Bear car sick yeah and it's, it mm -hmm. was it was so easy it was like basically a straight shot up to mammoth but i mean i don't believe that it was your first time to snowboard yeah, just yeah like my mom was like that's dangerous you don't want to do that and i was like it you're is right dangerous it yeah. is so dangerous i don't know how i left but also we played like so many sports yeah so like yeah. when would we have had time yeah. what sports did you guys play I tried to play basketball but then like softball took over <laughs> yeah. and i played volleyball since i was like five nice. and then volleyball became like a year-round type yep. of thing so that was like all I did was play yeah, volleyball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I play I volleyball. That was my favorite sport too. Yeah, it was volleyball. my favorite. Amazing. Um, did and you then, play? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so so my favorite thing playing. was basketball, but I did I did volleyball and softball all throughout middle school. But high school, you almost have to choose. You do. And so basketball became you know the the full time thing. And then I had a very I just fell out of love. I got into music and more creative stuff. Yeah. And you know I did. AP classes and all that. So it's a shame because I feel like I, I wanted to keep playing mm -hmm. up until 2 a.m. every night, like writing papers for AP classes. So. Same. <laughs> so yeah, I had to give up on basketball my junior year. I still played it. And then, like I said, I played like the year round. So I had yeah. like the club volleyball. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm burned out like 14 years at this point. And when I started to realize you, you go to high school, you know, I was the best in middle school. And then you go to high school, it's so much more talent. But it's crazy how I'm like, my body cannot recover from it. Like yeah. it, it was, I think we, my last session was on Monday and this is what, Friday? Like yeah. I finally feel okay. How like many my, days did you do? We did three days. Yeah, and that's enough. It was a lot. That's enough. Yeah. Yeah. But leading up to that, I was doing these virtual snow classes. It's what? on like a rotating carpet. So I basically learned all of the techniques, like the things that you would waste time on, like for those first yeah. three sessions. Okay, that's smart. And it definitely translated, but my God, the, th the thing that it doesn't prepare you for is the falls. Yeah. Like nothing else hurt, but like like the muscles that you would use to do it, it was just like the impact was so painful. And you didn't put your butt pad on. Those were so big that I could barely get my overalls over oh, them because they were so God. thick. So then I went the second day and bought like a child's extra large because oh. they didn't have any women's sizes. So those were like a little bit smaller. And then the third day I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm just wearing these. But so, you're gonna go back. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, very yeah. excited. Well, you yeah. could just go to the Hollywood sign now because there's a blizzard happening in Los Angeles. I, I know. came here the wrong week. <laughs> what am I, what is Or maybe is it's happening? the right week. I don't know. Maybe you wanted to yeah, see rain. No, no. I, we, we rented a glass Airbnb. So oh, the what? guest house is all glass. It's beautiful. However, I didn't anticipate it being 30 degrees. Oh my there. gosh, but it's oh, freezing. Cold. It's very cold. Well, now you're, so you're cruising around in a Rivian. Ah! Yes. Sorry. The all honest. Like, so how long do you have it for? Do you have it all week? So I have it until I leave on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, had the Hummer EV. Oh, cool. And so it's kind of interesting to drive those so closely. And right off the bat, 
Rivian is so much closer to Tesla, obviously, I guess. So we can, we can go back to the, the Rivian. But the Hummer EV, I had the lowest expectations for. So yeah. I think when I drove it and it was like really, really cool, like my mind was just blown. There's a lot of the things that you're used to with normal cars. Like there's so many physical buttons. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize how much I missed physical buttons until I got in the Hummer EV. Right. right? I like that. And so, so yeah, and the, you can take the top off. It's like a convertible and That's it's so cool. fast and, and you, so, so much power and the ego too. When you're driving around in that, like you get the looks, <laughs> you get, I don't know if they're good looks. You get them though. But you get the looks. How um, many miles so yeah. can you get? 300. Oh, cool. That's, yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. But I was telling her, uh, I sent her a I Stradman it. video. Yeah. So he paid like a thousand bucks oh. to get it towed like 200 miles, I think. That's I, I, Yeah. I watched it earlier and I was like, oh, cause I'm going to get the yeah. Hummer EV to check out and do a road trip. And you're like, well, maybe just like a heads up, you know, yeah. where you're going to go, which is fair because it's like, even when we, well, actually we did the Yosemite with the Rivian and it was fine. Yeah. Cause it was like the Electrify America were there. We were able to charge at where we stayed, mm -hmm. but the charger in the park, like the dedicated Rivian one was slow. It was yeah. like, I don't know what the, like well, nine miles per hour or something. Might have been less. That's usually, it was, yeah, oh, whatever. I, it was really slow. And I'm like, oh my God, good thing it wasn't banked. But it thing, was yeah. also open for any uh, any other cars. Yeah, so too. like yeah. the Tesla was actually, I think, like, or somebody was using the Rivian. I'm like, no. Yeah. Well, that's Leave why, me alone. like, it's I mean, mine. love, hate Tesla. Yeah. The infrastructure for yeah. charging is so great. Yes. I feel like the last time I was talking to you, you just got the Model S. So what is it now like? Like, is it a year later? This drives me insane. Why is there no front camera? Yeah. Thing into plaid mode and yeah. just yeah. like, punching it yeah it is a feeling that like you really can't explain Yo, you you can because i was in an uber <laughs> last night and i almost died wasn't a plaid well, it probably wasn't a model s it was fast enough and yeah. i almost killed me but i will say the tesla technology saved my life so th yeah elon thanks for that one i just got my you know tesla and maybe a month later i was on the highway and it was dark there weren't a lot of cars around me um but there's a huge bumper someone's bumper fell off in the middle of the highway so there's a huge bumper in the middle of my lane and I reacted too late. And so when I was about, when I was like about to move the wheel, it just moved my car for wow. me. So it did the calculations of, oh, there's no one to the right of you. So I'm going to pull to the right, pull back to the left. Um, and I ha have an actual recording of it. Um, but in that moment, I was like, okay, I don't think I can ever buy a dumb car again. It's a small thing that you could put a front yeah. camera yeah. and have like the overhead view. Tesla cheaps out on things that you don't think they, yeah, I because driving the Rivian too, there are some like extra things. Like I love just the the portable speaker mm -hmm. and the flashlight yeah, in the door. Yeah, 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 the flashlight in the door and their finishes. Their finishes seem way more premium mm -hmm. than Tesla as well. So, and that's with the Hummer too. The Hummer is so maximalist, and that's actually I I actually love it. And so I found myself comparing it a lot to Tesla, being like, oh, I wish my car had this and I wish my car had that but I don't know well, pros and, and cons the plaid though is so interesting because there's no like actual turn signals mm. there's there's no buttons there's nothing so like you do everything on the screen oh. and then like the turn signals are also buttons and the horn is also a button so like I forgot about the turn yeah. signal thing I, I don't like that I don't know if you guys are on sex trafficking TikTok but what? what really upsets me is when you can't lock your car right away when you get in the Tesla there's no button you yeah, gotta do a, like people are getting taken it, from hold, parking lots because okay. they're hold, getting wait, pulled out of the car. <laughs> hold on, if I because you can't lock your <laughs> enough. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that there is the the lock on the top, isn't it? At the top of There's, the screen, so you can press it pretty quick. They just added. Okay. I'm like, hey, lock the door. And anytime she'd go, <laughs> like so, trying to find the lock, and I'm like, that's it. We're already trapped. It's funny that you say that because I've I have seen so many TikToks mm -hmm. where put a car seat where you can't see the front, but it's the back of it in a shopping cart in the middle of, you know, like a Walmart parking lot or yeah, something. It's always like a Walmart and, or Target. Yeah. And so you'll be tempted to say, is there a baby in there? And you walk up and they take you. Exactly. So Same thing I as they're ripping women out of cars. The energy that you're putting out here, yeah, because I've lot. gotten sucked into that TikTok. You've yeah. walked up to people asking to see the no! baby? No, I have not <laughs> personally <laughs> okay. experienced this, but I have seen a lot of TikToks talking about that and they they have a life of their own now to where I don't know how true it is but yeah i literally would never walk up to someone and say can yeah. i see inside your your basket can i see your baby yeah, but if well, you saw 
like, like a no shopping cart around. far so, away so you with think, a baby oh, an and a empty. shop. I thought they were like walking around in Target and you're like, can I see your baby? No, like no. They're, they're, they're trying to lure, you know, a empathetic woman who is being like, oh no, a baby. But so yeah. what we're trying to say is if you get a Tesla, you're going to get sex trafficked. <laughs> I like having the physical button, especially for things like that. And that was just one of the things where I'm like, hey, why can't I lock the car faster? Maybe I'm paranoid. Maybe I'm on TikTok too much, yeah. but... Yeah. You just, you got to lock that car, man. I know. I, 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 yeah. But man, it's fast. Like freaking so, so fast. fast. Yeah, it's I, fast. When I first was testing out the plaid mode, I made myself so physically ill. Yeah. Like I almost passed out. Yeah. And so then the next few runs that we did, like I had to do like, <sighs> I had to do Take like deep actual breath. like deep breathing when I would yeah. floor it because it's, it's like that G force is so well, intense. You, you did pass out at, um, Six Flags. Yeah. From a. I d- from I, what ride? I pass out on like, like a blue one. Dropping ride like drop? sometimes. So so it's a reoccurring thing. Yeah. You'd probably not go back to Six Flags. <laughs> I haven't been back since, okay, to be honest that's with good. you. Yeah. And that's the last good. time we did, I went on the that Hollywood Tower of Terror, which is now the Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. It gave me such a weird feeling. I got off the ride and was crying. <laughs> oh my. Like, 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 like recently? Yeah, like maybe a year and a half ago. <laughs> and it was like, I felt so messed up. Like I got off and I'm just like in tears. That's sad. And then like... <laughs> The oh. people I were with are just like, what's wrong with are you? you? I'm like, okay. I don't yeah. know. Wow. Wow. That got anyway. emotional. So um, sex trafficking covered that. Yep. Um, Tesla Ryan. So net net though, you're glad you bought the oh. Model S. Oh yes. No, I love yeah, it. Yeah. And honestly, the charging is so great. And yeah. I've been going to San Diego a lot. What is the, how, how much battery do you have? It's like 398 miles. Just wow. Pretty. I forgot that yeah. you have more. Yeah. I have the Model Y. Mm-hmm. So I max out at 300 now. It, it's battery degradation yeah. but no it still has the sticker on the screen yeah because i've never done a review <laughs> just so i filmed a review it was justine <laughs> yes you might have a problem does yeah. it not feel bad you could take a look it looks yeah. pretty good still there's some bubbles now from like the heat and stuff but mm. like honestly i don't even notice it i think you notice it more in the passenger seat well i'm looking at it i'm like well yeah we well, are there just like looking at so it i'm really looking at are you to find waiting the to do the review button. or at this point is it too late? It's just going to well, be on there for forever. I th- so I filmed one. It was like six months after I got it. And yeah. then I never edited it. Yeah. 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 And then I was like, okay, maybe I just like post that. It'll be like six months. And then it'll be like, oh, it hops to like one year. And then I can do a comparison of the 2022 to the 2023 or something yeah. like that. So I, who knows? I don't, I don't know. I just, we're not good at doing things. Well, I took 40 days off for Christmas and played Call of Duty until I was I physically that. ill. I love that, though. It was incredible. Good I, for your mental health. Bad for yours. You bad. Had a, you so had a bad time. I have... So I know that I can't ever do drugs because I will have a severe <laughs> problem. I got so bad with Call of Duty that I would literally wake up in the morning. I would move this massage chair in front of the TV. <laughs> and then I would be like, oh, man, I'm so hungry. But I didn't want to cook because I didn't want to leave. So then I would just like grab some M&Ms <laughs> and like eat M&Ms until 1 p.m. And then have some Cheetos. And then I'm like, oh, but my you're living the life. No, I felt <laughs> so bad. I was so messed up that I was like, I need to have an intervention with myself. And I had to stop. So yeah. I took like. Well, even yeah. when we were on the East Coast, I went to do, so I like had a whole day out, like yeah. came home. It was like 3.30, 4 p.m. And my dad was like, I'm really worried about Justine. She hasn't even come down for food. Oh Poor dad God. was so, he's like, what, what does your family food. think of that? that? I mean, honestly, this job can be stressful, but we really do have the best job where we kind of yeah. can be grown up kids. Yeah. I was just concerned because she didn't eat. Just concerning. Yeah. But it was like five o'clock. And yeah. I, but I was like, I have to level up. And we had double XP. He didn't so. know you had the Christmas candy and cookies up there. No, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I ate. Yeah. It was not a healthy meal by <laughs> any means. amazing. I got really into Halo when the new Halo game dropped. But that ended pretty quickly just because, you know, I was kind of suffering the same like glitches and things that people are talking about. But that was so amazing to go back into that. Well, that's what we did for the previous Christmas, yep. 2021. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was the Halo Christmas mm-hmm. where, once again, we were yeah. you were in our childhood bedrooms across from each other. I had a monitor on top of like a box in my bed, and yes. then like I had my legs like straddled around it, I and then the that. Xbox was. Like, it, was <laughs> it was a good game. It was fun. It was so living fun. the life. Oh man! Wait, can I ask you a dorky Halo question? Yeah. Okay. Did you guys play the campaign? Yes. We did. Okay. And did you play like? The earlier Halo games, those campaigns, like mm-hmm. Halo 1, 2, 3. A very long time ago, yes. Yeah. So do you did you like the more open world feel of Halo Infinite in that campaign? I love open world. I also like it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I hated it. Okay. 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 Yeah. But I did miss, I like kind of the guided campaign where you're, you're just very clear on your objectives. I actually didn't finish the Infinite campaign, which is crazy. At one point, I'm like, I haven't even actually done the real yeah. storyline in yes. like days. I'm like, what have I been doing? Oh, what a good time. So, okay, we've, we've got, we've, 
we talked about addiction, yep. sex trafficking. Yep. It's really great. Hey, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, but I just want you to be safe. You as well. I yes. want everybody to be safe and be aware of your surroundings mm-hmm. because they're fast. Fast. Snatch- <laughs> Somebody tried to snatch me at uh, San Francisco Where, airport. Well, I, I don't know if it was like snatching, but like, so me? like yesterday. So SFL. You know how like you go to like the Uber lot and there's like A B C D and like you can wait inside. Yeah. So I was like, well, oh, I'm waiting outside. It's very cold in San Francisco. I call my little Uber. It's me, this other girl, and like one other guy. This guy comes in the door. He's oh, got like his AirPods in. Yeah. He has his AirPods and he's like, goes to the girl first. Oh, do you need a ride? Yeah. And she goes, no. And he's like, okay. Well, I can just take you now. And yeah. she's like, no. And then he goes to me. He's like, do you need a ride? And in typical Jenna fashion, lasers <laughs> came out of my eyes, <laughs> mm-hmm. and I was like, absolutely not. Yeah. And then he like looked at the guy, and like he, had, he wasn't paying attention, and he just like left. And I'm yeah. like, well, I'm glad you took that stand because they do that in New York all the time. No. And the, I mean, the first it might time not be the know. first time that John ever visited me in New York. You know, he's kind of he's like a like a doe, a deer, like gotten one of those lifts. <laughs> And he he's called still here. me. He, he's mm-hmm. still here. But he called me and he goes, I don't know, it's super weird. Like he keeps like raising the price on me and yeah. says it's now like like $150 if I want to go to Manhattan. And I go, John, so I should have told you this before, but you always need to just make sure that you order an Uber. You don't, you don't, you know, trust. go to trust these people who come up to you in the airport. And I go, this is going to be awkward, but you need to tell him to just drop you off at the nearest gas station or wherever you are. Because yeah. I've had one of those situations too before. Like, I think it was when I was doing the Adobe creative residency. Um, and I got so freaked out because they keep raising the price on yeah. you. Yeah. You're going to get to Manhattan and you're going to like have to pay this dude like 300 bucks. Yep. And that's, it's such yeah. a scam. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. Like you might, you might've been perfectly innocent, but it's not yeah. like there was like crazy weight. There were no lines. It's like my Uber is yeah. going to be there in three minutes. Like, yeah. no, I just, just, I don't know. And th- that is like how, I mean, there's signs in airport bathrooms being like, you know, don't. Yeah. But you guys, it, yeah. You guys seem very ready though. Well, you, oh, yeah. I, I'm ready to fight like, anyone, like ready Sarah. To, <laughs> very prepared. Wait, and then one more Uber story. My way back from LAX. This was totally fine. But I like get in my little Uber. You know, we're cruising, cruising. He takes like a left turn to go like a back alley out of LAX. And then like something starts beeping and he just shuts his car off. And I'm ah. like, like, why is he shutting his car off? And I like, look around. I'm like, oh, there's no one around. I'm like, oh, my God. And he's like, I just have to restart the car. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm just like sitting what there kind with, of car? sitting there with my little pizza being like, do I just eat this now if I'm going to die? <laughs> it was like a really well, what ni- kind of car? It was like a nice like um, Lexus. Well, if you think about it, <laughs> getting into a car with a stranger, even if you're an Uber or Lyft driver, is yeah. still so insane He to turned the car off in the alleyway and I'm like, I don't know. Were you with me when we went somewhere and he had to like pick something up? Yes. Yeah. He, was, he, he went like, to his family's to his house. house. <laughs> He was like, I gotta drop this off. Oh we were, uh, my god. We're in the middle we're of nowhere squim. in Squim, Washington. Squim? Yeah. yeah. I don't even know what Squim, Washington well, is. And I think he had to go to the bathroom too. Oh my god. Which is fine. If you're driving, you have to go. I yeah. understand. But I'm I'm glad to have my own car now. Where do we even go at from there? Well, let's How see. was your wedding? Oh, I watched oh, your video. It was so did you thank edit you. it? I did. Okay, I, I did. thought so. I was like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was really good. I did. Thank you. Thank you. It was one of those things where because I did weddings before YouTube and I felt like I had some I've always had some songs in the back of my head for like my own wedding videos. So I, I have never thought about what my wedding could be but I always thought about the video so I feel like I gotta edit my own but it was it was beautiful so we went to France we got engaged February 2020 so the timing wasn't very good Ooh. yeah and right after I remember my my parents my mom and my brother came up and it was end of February 2020 they came to New York and we, were, we started to hear about this this thing this COVID-19 we're gonna do the big wedding thing we found a New York rooftop to do the wedding I even found a dress I didn't buy anything yet though which is good <laughs> And oh a week later, the entire world shut down. And we're like, okay, we'll just delay our wedding for a little bit. And then it just became an indefinite delay. We were just like, what's happening? We moved to taxes. And so, yeah, this past year, I don't know why, but I just started watching these Chateau YouTuber people, uh, Philip and Anna, how to renovate a Chateau. And so I shot him an email and Philip actually watched my stuff. And he's like, well, we've never done a wedding here and we only have four rooms, so it can't be super big. And I was like, yeah. We literally just want it to be our immediate family. And he's like, okay, we can make it work. And I actually uh, got, it was very hard to find a wedding planner because I was like, I don't speak French. And this is in Mm. Normandy, France, where they were like, you're going to be here in four weeks. (gasps) And you want me to plan like a wedding at this shot? Like, no. But I don't know if you guys know Damon Dominique. I'm not sure. So he's, he's a YouTuber, travel YouTuber. His friend he got me connected to his friend who lives in France and 
of course it's like the spirit of a YouTuber. They, they're just on it. Right. And within four weeks, it somehow came together. And we got married at Chateau and we honeymooned in Paris. And it was perfect. It, was, it awesome. was a lot of fun. So it was very unexpected. But I don't know. When that idea popped in my head, I, it was just like, it just seems right. I feel like that's the way to do it, too. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. I think I also saw you right after you guys got engaged. Yeah, so you I was here. Yes, yes. I think we went to dinner or something. I thought we were in San Francisco. Oh my God, we did. Because then I was like, should I that? Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Maybe I'm yes. not. You, you weren't I'm there. Not the right year. You weren't there. What? Maybe I saw you. No, 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 I remember. Yes, yes, I yes. I remember yes. nothing. <laughs> You know what? Because that's when I was doing all of my video editing videos. And I was like, I'm going to do th- switching to Final Cut for 30 days. Oh. And I was like, Justine's oh, going to teach right. me teach me Final Cut. I forgot about that. Yeah. And I got so intimidated, intimidated by Final Cut <laughs> that I gave up on that video. So that footage is still on a hard oh, drive. No. Just dead somewhere. I should revitalize yeah, that. Yeah. But yeah, that was fun too. That was like right after we got engaged. And what was that restaurant called? That El was Fonte. Oh, the whipped oh, eggplant. It's yes. so, so good. good. That was delicious. They don't do takeout anymore. It sucks. So we have to go there. But you, they can't go there unless you get a reservation. They're always booked. <laughs> it's a very tragic it's day very time for me. It's so it's good. It's so good. That was 2020. Because I, I remember about Justine. That was fun. Did you learn any secrets? I, well, no, because I because <laughs> I didn't know you're so badass and stuff. Because you were telling me about like I was it jujitsu mm-hmm. or something that you started at that time? Yeah. Or um was that this trip that we did the yoga thing, but the sound experience thing? That was weird. Sound was bath? It, sound bath? Did we do a sound did bath? Take you to a sound you bath? Took you to a sound yeah, bath. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, this was this was interesting." Thank you wait. for going, so I didn't have to yes, go. Yes. Where did we go? Wait, I don't remember this. I, wait, is that the one you took me to? And I did not. Did we? It, I don't think were you, you were there? there, but I was at one. And I, the first thing I, d- I sound so paranoid. I'm gonna, I was gonna say I was seeing where the exit was. I was like, because this is like crazy. So squished, so many people. It was very. Did we go to the one in Santa Monica? It was by John and Vinny's. I think, I think, yes. John, by John and Vinny's. Yeah, no, this is a different one. Because I think we did that. And then, did we go to dinner? Maybe. I don't remember. We all got so close to each other. (laughs) We were were so (laughs) loose and we were vibing, you know. Was Ashley, was somebody else there? I think someone else okay, was there. Okay, so I think it was Ashley Sunquist. Yeah, you took that me was, to another Yeah, bath. no, the, this, this one was nice. He's Maddie. digging. He's digging in his bed. Okay, it looked like Tyler was digging. <laughs> I'm like, why is Tyler digging over there? Sparkling ice. <gasps> this peach. <gasps> that, I haven't tried this one yet. Yeah, peach. Well, well, I've been sipping. Okay, Let's, okay. here we go. All right. Not sponsored. Do you want one? I'll, I'll take one. Tyler, could you, could you, okay. Cause, yes. Cause now I'm not as nervous about burping. Cause I already, oh, I already yeah, have okay. a solid, probably like 40 minutes of not burping. Yeah. Okay. And then, she's going to be okay. Here, here, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. There it is. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, that sounded great. I know. It sounded so good. Okay. She's okay. holding it up. It's Moment a, of truth. It's a peach nectarine. It's okay if you don't like it. Cause they're not giving us money yet. Mm, okay, interesting. The, so the, the aftertaste, there's no, sh- there's, there's no sugar. It's kind of like a stevia aftertaste. Yeah. So it, it, um. it's definitely not like a. It's it, yeah. There's, no, there's five calories. No the sugar. first taste though, yeah. is reminiscent of orange soda. Mm-hmm. My favorite flavor is the black raspberry, <gasps> which is that one. That's what I had. It's which so I, nice. I, I like the classic that, lemonade. I, I like, didn't. I brought I it from you home. Took it for no, me. this is good. And this is better than the peach hint. So oh. the peach hint is the worst flavor by okay. far. Because I you post about these all the time. I know. Yeah. Oh, we don't know what's in it. And this we is don't know. So that's what that's what I was about to ask. We don't know. But then I drank one and was like, these are good. And <laughs> I, I, got, I got quickly addicted. Okay. And now I'm like not I'm trying sure. to look because it doesn't say two percent or less of natural flavors, fruit and vegetable juice for color. Let's see. There's a lot of things in it. What is this word? That's a big word. I don't see any like oils yet. I'm I'm looking at this through the lens of my Twitter feed with all the like bros <laughs> saying you know all the health bro- yeah. bros that are yeah. Biotin, that's good for hair. Right? There's antioxidants. Yeah, and you're good. You're good. This is gonna this is a perfect for I mean, you. This is all you need in life. There's way worse things that I think we yeah. could be doing, and I've done that. Well, yeah. not all Whoa, of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> tell us. Justine's tell all coming next no. sponsor. Yes. Literally just my M and M binge and oh. playing Call oh, of Duty okay. obsessively. Okay. You know what? I am curious. Have you ever done anything scandalous in your entire life? Justine, it seems like <laughs> you I for some reason you seem like not good at goody tissues, but you seem very elevated above it all mm, i mean i recently <laughs> hard cocaine <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I 
can't keep her away. You know, I've never done that before, and, I, and I'm afraid because, like, I know I would probably be like, this is great. I mean, I stopped drinking, God, and I had to, to stop know. drinking caffeine, and it's okay. like, and, but I can't go back to those things because yeah. I would literally be back. I, I don't know. Look, so here's the problem with being a Virgo. Yeah, is when someone does something to me or like if if they just have real negative energy yeah. like it will physically cause me pain like i had a stomach ache one time for three months and i couldn't figure out who the was coming at jenna <laughs> we'll, we'll tell like you later i mean do we need to fight them no no no, no, no. i'm very i'm very open i'm very honest and i will always like speak my mind just like the older i get the more like i don't want to put up with crap and like yeah if you <clears throat> disrespect me my friends or family uh, get is, out this Sorry, is a really you. good preview for the wh whoever the sponsor is gonna be yes. that's gonna get the next pop because hear all the tea right <laughs> like is anybody but raise your hand if you've been arrested i don't think i have I and been that's arrested? a good that's a good bottom so, line oh Ty tyler i don't think i have no, i have a really bad memory i think i remember that one <laughs> yeah had we have a secret that no one knows that's actually a very big part of me that i'll tell you after the pod okay oh, yeah so we can just gossip <laughs> okay i <laughs> don't have a front license plate on my car well what straight yeah to prison. Mm -hmm. i don't i don't have one in texas and they leave me alone well you're gonna have to get one <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah yeah i have a really big flaw and it has to do with that yeah my registration for my car expired in july Ooh. yeah <laughs> here's what you need to get reviver not sponsored um it's a digital license plate you basically can pay on the app and then they send all the registration and stuff in oh, for you. That's it awesome. updates. That's actually worth it for you because the what you would pay in fees. I know. So it automatically renews? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But see, I would have to have the They send you a reminder on the app. Like you literally pay it yeah. through the app. You don't even go through the DMV. Yeah. Well, mine is Jenna, sitting in my center console right now. I haven't mm, put it on my car. Yeah. You were driving. Yeah, it was like a Friday. We're coming back from a shoot. It just seems like huge. I have to edit. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'm driving. I are cruising <laughs> home on this Friday. Like do 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 cruising, cruising, just so happy. And then ree, ree, ree. I'm like, I'm looking around like, oh, that's me. Cause I am in fact cruising <laughs> and I'm like trying to pull over on, you know, five lanes on the highway. And I was like, yeah, I saw that cop. He's, you know, he got off the uh, ramp and he's been following you. And I'm like, <laughs> that's pretty care funny. to share. Tyler's Wait, coming in for a microphone. Over, he's over. I said, I said, I saw him get on the freeway. I didn't say I saw him following us <laughs> I swear I would did. have said something. <laughs> but I did see him get on the freeway. Yeah, I, I could have said something. And I didn't. Oh, my well, God. Well, he was coming in hot for me. It's okay. And we he pulls us over. He was cute. Ooh. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I was like, was okay. do you want my license? <laughs> and in out, fact, he, he did. did. He, so we pull over. Yeah, pull over. He's like, ma'am, do you know how fast you were going? I'm like, yeah, because I was like, man, we are crew. I was like, yeah, I was speeding. So I gave him my license. He does a little typey type, type, type. And he's like, okay, you know, I'm going to get you. are going to let you off with a warning. I go, great, thank you. He goes, but this is your car? And she, he goes, yeah. He goes, well, your registration is expired. So you got to get it. Uh, but here, guess what? Pandemic happened. And then it disappeared. You know what's <laughs> the most shocking part of that story? Justine, you can edit in the car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a freak. She edited the whole road trip from Los Angeles to Oregon. Well, I drove. She was. How do you not throw up? I'm I, not sure, but yeah, yeah it's good. It's yeah, it was good. Wow, I love it. It's great. Talent. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, this was a lot of fun. I switched to the 14 inch MacBook. Ugh. Yes. Did you? I no. I've only been 14. Really? Inch. Now I the love thing it. that I will the battery life. <clears throat> yeah, is it sucks. Sir. What made you change the the car editing? Oh, actually, I never, oh, I never edited that video either. <laughs> I have hundreds. Of, I probably have like 50 videos over the course of the past couple of years that I've just wow. literally shot and never edited. Um, I had a little defect on my 16 inch MacBook that I bought. I'll, I'll post it eventually. So like the display where it connected to like the actual like screen, like it was, it was like coming up. So I sent it back and then I was like, well, I kind of wanted the 14 anyway. So yeah. this actually worked out. And then I ordered the 14. It was here in like two days later. And I was like, oh, oh shoot. Life like, changing. It actually, it's I was the like, size. I'm glad that it happened. Because, it's the move. Yeah. It's so small. As my 16 inch is sitting over there taunting. Me. I'm mm -hmm. like, I want the 14, but I didn't want to upgrade. I'm like, I have yeah. maxed out the past, the last MacBook Pro. I'm like, yeah. at this you point. You don't need it. You I don't, don't, I don't do need not. it. Yeah. But boy, when I try to edit on a plane, I'm like this. Yeah. When uh, I went to Indonesia, I was editing on that 16 inch. When did you go to Indonesia? Um, how did I miss that? I don't know. I'm, a, like, I'm an avid. It's okay. I just seen follow. <laughs> it, was, it, was it was a few months ago. When did that, when was that? It was <laughs> literally right after the embargo. Like we booked it. I was like, figure out when the iPhone is, is happening. Wow. And then booked it for like that, that next Well, how week. was it? It was the best place I've been to. Wait, yes. I it was so fun. A resort or something. It was called Nihi. Yes. I was, remember that word. Which is wild because it was like, 
like um, that looked beautiful. It was it was amazing, but it's so hard to get to. It was like yeah. thirty eight hours oh. of travel. Was it worth it though? Oh, hundred percent. Like yeah. I would go back in in a minute. Yeah. Like, I mean, well, thirty eight hours. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's yeah. So long. Yeah. And then I got a little uh, tummy bug. Tummy bug. <laughs> a little tummy bug. On I got one, a little tummy bug from Mexico. Say, oh yeah, mine lasted for like three weeks. Thirty seven bug like, bites. We take a ride in the Rivian. Yeah. Should we? Let's do it. Oh my gosh, we can go hydroplane out there. I would love that. (laughs) Oh, and I have to pee, so. <laughs> it's like this. Uh, this has been very fun, though. Catching up. I, feel like I, I haven't know. seen you. Well, I saw you at. Uh, it's been a minute. Uh, where were we? Where were we? Where condo. Were? Condo. What, are you condo. coming to camera camp? I am coming to camera camp. Yeah. I am so. I am saying yes to everything this year. Oh, that's a lot. You're. I'm a yes year. woman. I know. I'm going to NAB. Are you going oh. to NAB? No. When is yeah. that? I don't so think I'm here. April? I think I'm gonna be yeah, I'm gone back a lot in April yeah. somewhere else as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm excited. I'm and what's crazy about that is that is the first time I signed up for a conference myself. Ooh. I got like a press badge. I didn't wait for a brand to invite me. <laughs> nice. I just said, hey, there's gonna be homies. I'm gonna go hang out with the homies. South by, and then we got camera camp, and I got NAB, and then I have m- moving. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, so do you have a firm date then? Yes. Okay. June one. Oh, wow. oh so that's soon. That is soon. soon. Very so are you soon. guys like packing yeah. up stuff? Have you started looking for houses yet? A little yet? bit. Yeah. So I'm zillowing every mm-hmm. single day. Um, but I'm most nervous about, yeah, just telling my family. I'm um, like, you guys are pretty young. So like yeah. you should do I it know, now. I know. Like, enjoy I s- this while you can. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. I just thought about another time that we hung out. We were skateboarding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. We've done so many random yes. things. And that, that was a really shitty electric skateboard too yeah. i remember um skateboard phase oh i had a bit yeah. long boarding and then you're like now i'm gonna get into trick board i want to do some trick tricks. board well, I got, I got like tech tech no or just like a like because i bought a long board better uh, like a, then you a had, shorter one for doing tricks you're like segue <laughs> those were, oh my god did you see do you remember those i remember this i do remember you, this okay so this 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 hurt my feelings justin what? Bieber. What? what justin bieber was doing a live stream okay. <laughs> on instagram or youtube or something and he had this he had the segue shoes <laughs> and he was watching a YouTube video on how to learn how to use them. It was my video. <laughs> no, and he was like, way. I was like, oh, just the point. <gasps> I was like, oh my it, god. I think I was like, with you. You're like Justin Bieber's watching my live stream. Or my videos is so cool. And then he's like, this is so boring. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I have to pee still. Jenna has to pee. We're, we're gonna end, we're gonna end the pod. Um, Sarah, where can we find you? You can Google Sarah Peachy, and you'll find me on the YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Love All it. There. Can you bang it? Bang it? <laughs> Can I bang it? Bang. Bang. bang! bang! Sarah, we're getting into bang, okay? Did you put something <laughs> in my juice? <laughs> what about mine? It's gone. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to go check out her review. I'm going to pee myself. Okay, we got to go. Bye! Bye! <laughs>